Today I'm going to talk to you about what marketing is, how big brands use it, how they successfully use it, how they don't successfully use it and just what marketing is in general and how you can use it to make your brand successful. So what is marketing? As defined by Oxford Dictionary, marketing is the promotion plus selling of a product or service including market research and advertising. Why do we use marketing and why do big brands use it? We'll look at a nappy brand like Pampers. They use marketing so successfully that I wouldn't have to tell you what's in this packet. You would already know. It's a household name. It's like Coca-Cola. Literally everyone knows. Without being a parent and without having a baby, we know what's in these packets. And that's because their marketing is everywhere. It's on the shelves of Tesco to Sainsbury's to Asda to your television to my television to the laptops and Facebook. It is everywhere. And this brand shows us how marketing is done successfully and why we use it. Not only that, but the sales for that product speaks for itself. Literally, Pampers sales are second to Tesco. However, there are lesser known brands on the market at similar prices and similar quality to Pampers that aren't generating as much sales and revenue. And this is due to one thing, and that is their marketing isn't as good. Their marketing isn't as great. This brand here, for example, Eco by Natty, I use them personally. I think they're a great brand. I could list a hundred reasons why they're a great brand. But they don't do as well in their sales because they're not marketed as well as Pampers. So all in all, we're using marketing to create our brand awareness. We're doing it in order to spread that image of our brand and make it known to a wide audience as Pampers has done. An idea and concept heavily involved in marketing is the marketing mix. And this was developed by E. Jerome McCarthy. He suggested that there are four P's to marketing. This is product, price, placement and promotion. Look at these each in depth. We can see how to market successfully. Product is what are we selling? This is the base of the product. What will it look like? How will it appeal to the audience? You know, all those things, colours, how will it feel, the quality, where are we getting it from? All of that is important when considering the product. This is how much is it going to cost? Everything for us to do. How much is the advertising, the marketing, the colours, you know, all of that stuff, the packaging, all that stuff. How much is it going to cost? The next part of the mix is placement. This is where we're we going to market this product online, offline, on the television, in the supermarket, you know, all that type of stuff. Where are we going to place this product in terms of marketing? The last part of the mix is promotion. How and where are we going to advertise this? Are we going to do it on flyers? Are we going to do it online? Are we going to do it on the television, the radio? This is what promotion means in terms of the marketing mix. In terms of the marketing mix, we can see how well Pampers has done in comparison to other brands. So exactly the branding for their product. They know how they market it and they know what it looks like. They have a distinct brand image on each of their nappies. These are the colours that they normally use. These are tiny whiny because they are for a literal newborn. But that's the product. That's what it looks like. Or we saw what the outside of the product looks. And we know that distinct branding. Their price is a bit higher than say own brand like Tesco or Boots. But that is because parents are paying for the quality. Or what they think is the quality. And that is because marketing is done so well with this brand. That parents think they're paying for more quality. When really and realistically this is no better than a tesco brand nappy their placement as well their placement is brilliant you know you go online you can get them on amazon you can order them from the supermarkets 
can go into the supermarkets and buy them. You can buy them from Sainsbury's, Tesco, Asda, Morrison's. You can buy these nappies anywhere, even your corner shop. These nappies are available to you. So they have a wide audience that people can buy these so readily and accessibly. And they have a aggressive advertising campaign. Their promotion is amazing. They're everywhere. <laughs> literally everywhere they're on primetime tv they're on daytime tv they're on facebook they're on billboards they're in the supermarkets which is advertisement for themselves women are using them influencers are using them you can see these nappies everywhere and anywhere in fact they paid fifty thousand pound to be in a movie free men and a baby and that's a good movie because i've watched it <laughs> From all that information I've just given you, you can see the difference in marketing from that of Pampers to that of Eco by Natty. Eco by Natty does have its own branding. That says respect nature and I think that's really cute. But their branding isn't something that you instantly recognise and go, oh yeah, I know what that is. <laughs> Not like the Pampers, but their prices are a little higher but that is because they are eco-friendly their quality is great they do market themselves as eco-friendly they have zero percent plastic that's more of their focus than you know saying oh it's convenient or it's cheaper their focus is the zero percent plastics in their brand so feature a whole load of other stuff that's more healthier in terms of eco-friendliness their placement does see them in you know places that are a bit niche like holland and barrett or online their marketing does rely heavily on parents researching you know eco-friendly healthier like those type of things and mother blogs and you know you you do have to stumble across eco by night you don't just you know know what it is and go and buy it or people don't buy it for you when you are expecting or have children we can see they focus more on their quality and you know they use their revenue more for quality purposes and developing their products more than actually advertising their products as brilliant as we've just spoken about both these brands and you know their quality and how they market themselves and the difference in their marketing there is one other brand this brand has done a 360 in the market it's a well-known brand marketing campaign has completely changed it's targets everything i have to big this brand up it's not even available in the uk but i have to big it up huggies <laughs> Everyone knows what Huggies is. I have used Huggies wipes. I probably, my mum probably used Huggies nappies on me. I can't use them because they're not available and they haven't been available in the UK for several years. And that is because their quality was quite poor. However, they've done a 360. This has remarketed itself as eco friendly. This is the perfect median between Pampers and Eco by Natty. It's a big name with big campaigns and this generation seems to care a lot about eco-friendliness and being kind to the planet and this for this company is a perfect perfect marketing strategy and evidently they saw the opportunity and entered the market but again in the US dominated that market dominated it sales sales have skyrocketed additionally for the first time in their history they featured a black father with his baby on their packaging another important part of marketing is speaking to your market segment huggies has successfully spoken to its market segments say for example a market segment is eco-friendly parents not just parents as a whole or we have woke parents like myself <laughs> or and even parents on a budget, all by its marketing. You Now you see why marketing is so important. You speak to people through marketing. You make your image through marketing. You know, you know where your product's going to be and who's going to see that product. I personally would have another baby when they bring 
huggies to the uk just to use their products that's how good their marketing is like it's brilliant overall looking at these brands we've identified how marketing works how to successfully do it how to not successfully do it you know and how to literally do a 360 on everyone and bring your back brand back from the dead <laughs> a thumbs up to all of these brands for different reasons though huggies uh i've not even tried their quality but i know it's going to be great <laughs> like great and eco banai i've used that since my son was born i think they're a great brand they're brilliant their quality is brilliant you know i think it's better than pampers <laughs> again i would give huggies a thumbs up for its strategic marketing it is brilliant all kinds of people it appeals to and of course pampers they're great they are great for their marketing overall like they know what they're doing i wouldn't use them as a first choice all of these brands are a great example of how to do marketing successfully how to not market so successfully but yeah and that's it for my vlog on marketing thank you for watching